hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support if you haven't been subscribed to me please consider doing so i post two times a week tuesday and saturday okay uh, so today's video is about a perfume haul so i bought three perfume recently so these are really good ones but i don't think any of these are popular per se because um I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it, but they're from a really, really good house. Okay, so the first one is Armani Privé Rose Alexandri. So as I mentioned before, I'm searching for a simple pink red roses scent that's very subtle, that's not cloying, that's not aldehydic, that's not too strong because I don't like rose scent. I think I mentioned this many times. If this is your first time here, welcome. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of rose. Um, I think I've decluttered a lot of really, really good perfume because they have a hint of metallic -y rose. So my favorite rose is Delina Exclusive as well as Rose's Vanille type. Um, so yeah, I like those sugary, sweet, gourmandy rose. Recently, I was gifted uh, Martin Mikulev Mon Parfum Cristal, and this has become my one of my favorite rose. This is a very beautiful, simple red rose with a lot of toffee. If anything, this is more like a syrupy toffee with a hint of rose. So that is my style, and I found this at a very good deal from. Mercari. This is Armani Privé Rose Alexandri and as soon as I saw it I just have a desire to go test it out so I bought it blind by this and then I search on YouTube and there isn't a lot of review on this one except coming from Meow I think what's her name she's another reviewer from YouTuber that I used to watch and adore a lot but I can't think of her name Oh, the beauty meow. So the beauty meow reviewed this, and I remember watching this video. And I, but at the time I wasn't a big fan of rose. So yeah, so this one is a very simple rose. The notes that are listed in Fragranticas are neroli, rose, mimosa, mandarin orange, and bergamot. What came across to me? This is a soapy rose, like a simple soapy pink rose. And this one reminds me of Martin Mikulev Ananda Dolce, I think. Let me let me look. Okay, so I was wrong. It's Ananda. Martin Mikulev Ananda. But Ananda is a little bit way muskier. This is more like a musk with soapy and floral vibe. There is rose in here and there is neroli and there's white floral as well. But this is a musky with soapy floral vibe. This one smells like a five-star hotel soap. So is Rose Alexandri, but this is a rose scent. Yeah, this one smells like a very fancy rose soap scent. Sometimes this smells like a honey rose, like a rose that's dipped in honey. Sometimes this one also smells a little bit fruity, like honey rose with a hint of fruits. So as if the soap is a little bit multifaceted. This is not an aldehyde. I don't like aldehyde. The soapy here come across a little bit like honey and also a little bit fruity. Um, this is a very pleasant scent. I do really, really enjoy this. And this is really good at the hot and humid place because the, the soap come across as very clean. This is very subtle. Yeah, it's a very fancy, subtle, rosy, soapy scent. And then the soap come across a little bit like honey and a little bit fruity. Very simple scent. Nothing groundbreaking. Um, I feel like this is a little bit of a necessity in your perfume collection. However, this one, the longevity is quite disappointing. The longevity it doesn't last more than maybe two three hours on me and also when you first put it on it is 
a bit strong but literally the strength goes away in two minutes and it becomes subtle skin scent i don't mind it because i don't like too beast mode of a scent and with this one you could definitely over spray and it would leave a beautiful scent bubble but very short period of time though so yeah the first a minute and a half will be a little bit strong a little bit too soapy a little bit too much soap a little bit too strong but after that it kind of dies down to a beautiful scent bubble and that's where i enjoy this the most although the longevity could be improved but i could tell that this is a very high quality scent it's just that the performance is not too impressive you know all right so the next perfume that i bought this is from shabbat shabbat mason the perfum late the biscuit so i bought this because one of my good friend lauren the notes that are listed on fragrantica's are biscuit vanilla and caramel just those three notes um when i first spray this i was like where did it go i don't smell anything and then I waited for about 10 seconds and then I could smell a blast of alcohol and after about a minute that's when the scent starts appearing it's a little bit odd as soon as I smell it it reminds me of one perfume that I have in my collection it reminds me of a Montal chocolate greedy but Montal Chocolate Greedy has this woody dried fruit. So if you remove woodiness and the fruitiness and the the coffee, I think, if you remove all of that, what's left is Shabbat Late the Biscuit. But it does reminds me of chocolate. <laughs> but it does reminds me of chocolate greedy. The difference is um, not only remove the woody and uh, the dried fruit. The texture is also very different. This is very heavy and dense and beast mode. Um, so this one has a strong projection, not so much of a siage. It's more like a beast mode projection monster. And this, the closer you are to the source, the stronger this one get. Whereas this one is a little bit airier. Uh, this one leaves more of a sillage than a projection, if you know what I mean. It's like one of those perfumes that's quite airy. So yeah, it smells like chocolate greedy minus all the things I mentioned and make it airier. So that's what Shabbat love that leather biscuit. So the airy quality of this one reminds me the next perfume that I'm about to show you. This is Parlama Gimoff de Noel. So the airiness of Shabbat Lo, the biscuit, reminds me a little bit of uh, the airiness in Parlemois Guimauve de Noël. Yeah, I, I really, really enjoy it. And I do recommend all of the perfume that I mentioned today. But, well, but you have to also um, take into account the longevity and, and, and the projection that I mentioned, you know. Okay, so this is my favorite out of everything that I show you today. This is Parlemois. Gimoth and oil. Guys, this one's so, 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 so nice. So the notes are listed in Fragrantica for this one's are orange blossom, vanilla, and sugar. This is not a blind buy. I actually was sent a sample of this from one friend. And when I first smelled this, I thought it smells very similar to Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. And I also heard Sebastian from Smelling Great Fragrance Reviewer. He said that this one also smells like um, Love Don't Be Shy. But the more I put this on, the more I smell differences. So to me, this one doesn't smell like Love Don't Be Shy anymore. So I guess this one smells like Love Don't Be Shy, but in a very airy vanilla type. And this one also has a little bit of a hint of neroli or mimosa. Something that's a little bit soapy. I cut, I don't know why I start smelling soapy today. And it wasn't there for the longest time. So yeah, I guess, so the whole profile smells like love, don't be shy when you first put it on. 
After two hours, this one started to smell like a Lunfalin type of vanilla, but minus the burn house scent, minus the muskiness, the animalicness of Lunfalin, the vanilla in here reminds me of the vanilla in Lunfalin. And, and then the deep dry down, this one starts smelling like a soapy orange blossom. I don't know why the orange blossom here reminds me of the neroli that's a little bit soapy in, in Rose Alexandri. But nonetheless, let, let me not confuse you. This one smells like Love Don't Be Shy. It has a very airy quality. This is an airier version of Love Don't Be Shy, but as time progresses, like an hour, two hours in, I start to smell beautiful vanilla. That reminds me a little bit of the Lunfaline vanilla, minus all the burn house vibe, minus all the um, animalic quality. And the deep dry down, I just smell a neroli orange blossom, which is a tad bit soapy, but very tiny. I'm not a big fan of soapy scent, but I still love this one. So out of all of this three, this is my most recommended scent. I absolutely love it. My second recommendation would be Shabbat Lay the Biscuit. I think because I love Gourmand. My last but not least, I still like this. This is Armani Privé Rose Alexandri. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.